What about groundwater concerns as the, the sea level comes up? Um, I know this is maybe getting away from hurricanes, but like, for example, the Everglades and, um, you know, even just our trying to maintain the integrity of our groundwater. How does some of these like sea level rise and king tides and, and also storm surge and hurricanes affect our access to clean drinking water in South Florida? That's a great question. Um, and it really does have an impact. It already has had an impact. Um, so as the sea level rises, we're, we're basically sitting on like a porous limestone sponge. So as sea level rises, the water table underneath us rises along with it. There's nothing to inhibit that. Um, so the problem with that, not only will, I mean, we, so we, we, we can't make a wall around us like some places in the world can where they're sitting on real rock. You know, if you put a wall there, the ocean is not going to come in and get you. We could build all the wall we want, but it'll just come up from below our feet. <laughs> and, and I always remember what uh, former Mayor Phil Stoddard told us when we had this conversation, that it's uh, small uh, lobsters, I think, or crabs. Go ghost shrimp, I think he said. Shrimp, yep. Shrimp that have dug their way through the through the lime rock, right, that, that have made it so porous so that the water just comes up through the, through the lime rock. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we, we have that problem where a, a wall won't fix it. So, we, you know, we, we have that. And then part two is this thing called saltwater intrusion. So we have a freshwater aquifer that sits under where we live on, on the land. Then we have the, the, the ocean offshore. Okay, well, there's obviously going to be some zone in there where those two meet and blend. You have the fresh water under the land and the salt water in, in the ocean. They have this kind of zone where they mix. And that, that rises and falls actually during the year um, because of wet season and dry season. So do, does, does our land, does, does the... Um, I'm trying to say this. Basically, the, the saltwater intrusion problem is the, the ocean water oozes in and kind of takes over the realm of what was once fresh water. And so all the wells that we have down into what is now for fresh water, it's going to gradually become a problem because if, if, if the salt water intrudes into that, then we start to pump up the salt water, which is, you know, we can't make use of that. So yeah, it definitely will have an impact on, on, on that. And we've already seen that, right? We've seen the wells getting brought in further. Yeah, this, because this, has, of this has already happened in places, yeah. 